Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sonnet, the owner and creator behind Sonnet's Garden Blooms. And in today's video, we are doing a thrift haul. So if you guys followed along last week, I went thrifting with Connie from The Painted Photographer and I got a bunch of really great stuff. A few items I'm gonna keep for myself, a few more items I thrifted to upcycle in my July Makers Box video, and then a few other items will be for future videos so let's get started first and foremost I love vintage vases I love uh, McCoy and I found this one as well and I grabbed it so the McCoy vase you guys oh my gosh look at the bird the color I loved it I did pay $22 for it but I felt like it was worth it. And then there's the marking on the bottom, McCoy. Uh, and so on one side it has the bird, on the other it has some um, like, like a botanical or like a flower. But it was the color that caught my eye and I could not pass it up. The next one was this one, you guys. Oh. So this one is called Weller and it's just since 1872. Uh, so they just had a vintage yellow Weller vase and she had 25 on this. The reason I decided to go with it, I thought the beautiful handles and all this detail, uh, it's just gorgeous. I just loved all that detail and I love yellow as well. So uh, that one came home with me for myself. Next up, I got this uh, scale, you guys. I just have to show you like oh, is this not the most beautiful chippy goodness it weighs a ton uh, it caught my eye and I left and I went back for it so I think I'm gonna put this in my studio but it is staying with me for sure when I went back for that scale I also grabbed this one more chippy goodness you guys and honestly I loved how the scale was like down. So you put it here and then it weighs it. Uh, this too is going to be in my studio. I loved it and I was not leaving this behind either. So you guys can see right away I found a store. It was like an antique store. Uh, the prices were really good and I fell in love with all those pieces for myself. Uh, but at the Goodwill, the first one we stopped at, the prices were a little bit high. I ended up only getting a few items, and then the second Goodwill we hit up, that's where we found a lot of good stuff. So let's take a peek. Chest. It said Sturdy Cedar Chest, $5.99. I liked the um, metal uh, detail on it. So I'm going to uh, definitely embrace that. Now, guys, oh. Um, very suit, you know, just super cute opening up. So this is going to be a really good upcycle. Now I do collect these little birds. Um, there was a gal years and years ago. I remember like I was like probably 18, 19. She would give out these little vintage birds to every single new person that would come to our department. So each one is actually engraved on the bottom with the year and the name of it. So I saw this one and I'm like, oh, he's so stinking cute. They're all, I think, just a little different. So I grabbed these and I set these all over. Uh, just really pretty, vibrant blue. The other thing I found there was this. <laughs> He's a little whale. Uh, $3.99 for him. I don't even know how much the bird was now that I look. Let me look. Uh, $3.99 for the bird as well. So I don't know if I'm keeping him for myself or not. He is, it's like a little paperweight. So we'll see. Uh, I also love, um, I always find these little birds on pedestals and I have them put around my house. Now this one, you know, is a seagull and he is super cute. I love how distressed he is. He's a little dirty, I think. I'm just gonna wash him up. Um, I think some of that is like grunge dirt, 
uh, but he'll clean up nice. I paid $2.99 for him, and that's all I got at that um, Goodwill. The rest was at the next one, so let's dive into that. Actually, I forgot, you guys. I did find this at that antique store as well. It was $5. It was an old crock, and I have a really cool idea for this uh, for an upcycle. Uh, you guys are gonna love it. Uh, I know that I typically don't like to upcycle Crocs when they're so cool, but this one looks like there must have been at one point like a pot with some flowers. So I'm gonna embrace this side of it. Uh, but that was $5 at that uh, antique store as well. I ended up finding this. I thought the color was super cute. It was $3.99, it was half price. So I ended up getting it for $2. It was originally from Hobby Lobby for 10, so really five. I didn't get a great deal, but I wanna wash it up and I am either going to use it for myself. Here I was like, that's all I bought for myself. But I mean, either for myself or I'll put it in one of my booths. These, and they were $7.99 each. I think they're so cool. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with them. They're heavy. Uh, it does say Wapaka Foundry 2019, so I don't know if they were produced there, but it would be a really cool welcome sign. You so. notice I have a big shelving unit in here. I ended up getting that from my parents. They had it in their booth. Actually, we had it at our storefront for many years. Uh, actually, the full three years that we actually had our store in downtown Appleton. She had it in her booth. She was using it as just a display piece and I am taking it. I am going to paint it and I am actually putting my milk paint on it at one of my booth locations. So it'll be perfect for that. Um, many shelves and it's going to fit all the milk paint how I want to stage it. So I have to paint it and um, we are supposed to be getting rain every single day. So I don't wanna bring it to my storage unit. So I've been hauling it around. So my all my thrifted finds are in each of the shelves. So I have to keep bringing it back up. So let's keep on. It was $2.99. Oh, you guys, it is so beautiful. I'm going to sell this as is. I loved the coloring. It just, uh, has just a really fun vibe to it. So I'm just going to price it and get it in one of my booths. For an upcoming video, I needed a few clocks. So Connie and I went on the search and we found uh, several different clocks and I am going to do a bunch of upcycles with these clocks. Now this one, the clock face actually comes out um, and then slides right back in. So it looks like this is from Wausau, Wisconsin. Um, it was from something country store. So $3.99 I paid for this, but wait till you see what I have in store for all these clocks. So here's the first one, here's the second clock. And this one I did pay a little bit more for, but it is like solid wood. Uh, and I just love all this detail, but guys wait till you see what I have in store. I saw this one the clock face um, the piece around it was gone but again I have something definitely that I want to do with it and this is Pennington clocks so you know a little paint a little creativity and these are gonna be absolutely amazing. That's three of them the others are in there so let's keep on Okay, I saw this, it was $5.99. It is from like an old metal tin tile. Uh, they created a, like um, a hanger and I'm debating whether I should leave it as is or if I should paint it up. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Uh, maybe should I just sell this one as is? It was $5.99, I definitely can. Um, get my money back for this one. They were bringing in a lot of new pieces out, like new racks, and this was on one of them. And two of these for $7.99, uh, two wire black wall planter. I think these are absolutely amazing. This is going to be a great, um, great pieces to display like different smalls in here, greenery to have them set on shelves or hang on walls. 
I love them. I think uh, the minute I saw them, I'm like, I'm grabbing those, Connie. This also was on one of the new racks coming out. It was $5.99. There were two frames in here already and they didn't have the glass, but they did have, you know, the backing. Um, and then there were two more two more boxes. So I said to Connie, I wonder if there's more pictures in there or more frames in there. Um, and then I've heard, she's like, have them open them up. I'm like, yeah, I should. I didn't. And then, um, oh yes. So there are, the, and it looks like it's a couple. Olin Mills. So I have a project for you guys that I'm using these. So um, I kind of feel bad that these people got rid of like their grandpa and grandma's pictures, but I ended up getting four frames and I know exactly what I want to do with those. And they will definitely be in an upcoming video. This was $3.99 and I am always looking for a real sturdy frame. This is perfect. It does have the arrow on it. I'm not, oh, and the, it looks like the arrow is on there by these bolts. So I can take it off if I have to. We'll see what I do with it. Next, I found these. It, these were $2.99 and there's three of them. They are so cool. They're just old vintage chickens and there's all different designs thought they were so cool and I think I can see, like almost envision them like uh, set out um, I think I'm gonna price them possibly individual instead of a set uh, but I know that like all these vintage colors too are really coming back in this you know farmhouse look with the chickens somebody is definitely gonna snatch these up I have some re you know upcoming thrift flip videos that I have to do. One for my makers box, obviously some future Monday and Friday videos. And then I also have uh, another video um, that needs to be done. Uh, so I'm always looking for project pieces for these videos. And Connie and I had so much fun brainstorming, uh, like with the clocks, that is going to be in um, one of those upcoming videos. It's all gonna be about clocks. Uh, so, I also found this frame and I thought very nice and sturdy. Uh, it has got like a vintage picture in it. Um, so we're gonna see what we're gonna do with this one. Connie was talking about, um, she's like, sometimes it's fun putting things on mirrors. And I said, yes, I don't think I do it often enough. And so this one was only $2.99, uh, really nice frame. Uh, with a mirror and so wait till you see what I have going on with this. Always looking for a good frame. I love the detail on this one as well. It was only $3.99. It did come with the glass as well which fell out um, so I definitely want to be careful. I don't want that breaking especially on my driveway. So I'm gonna put that in there. All right. Yeah, we don't want to lose the glass before I have even done what I want to do with it. Um, so yeah, it uh, holds a four by six photo. So wait till you guys see what I have in store for that. All right, I found these and they were only $1.99. Uh, this one, it looks like they both had like some hot glue. I'm gonna take that off. But these little baskets are gonna be great for an upcycle. I like how they have the flat sides. So there's so many possibilities. Um, I also liked the plastic bottom because they're not gonna rot out on the bottom. With holes, I mean, you can even use them outside. Plant up some flowers, so that will be really good. $5.99, this is not old by any means, I don't believe, uh, but I'm gonna take the bow off. Uh, it's just hot glued on. I like the vintage -y look already of this. Uh, so we'll see what I decide to do with it. Whether I completely paint it and upcycle it myself or leave it as is. So it was $5.99. Um, it's perfect for a laundry room. These were, oh wow, <laughs> $3.99. One was half price and one was not. <sighs> Lord. I did not, I had so much stuff, I couldn't keep up. So 
Um, I want to show you the detail on these though. I love them and I have an idea for these that I'm really excited for. So be definitely watching for these in an upcoming video. We talked about the other two uh, clocks. Here is one. Uh, this I don't know if it's necessarily a clock, but it does have little faces on it. Uh, I thought these were super, this was super cool. So again, another upcoming video. But I only paid $3.99 for it and I definitely have a different, something different that I'm going to be doing with it. So it is going to be in my clock upcycle video. I am always looking for items that I can hang. These are perfect for outside, on a front door. Uh, this one looks like it already had like a up north seam. I probably could wash it and just sell it as is but I'm thinking it might get an upcycle. So it was only $3.99. Definitely needs to get a good cleaning. These old tin tiles, I don't know if they're really old, but they look vintage old. They caught my eye and I thought, I have something I wanna do with these. They were only 99 cents, so it was perfect to show you guys um, a fun way to use like a vintage tin tile or tin tiles like this. I'm always looking for unique pieces. And this one was so fun. It had, it's a purse, but it's metal. I think that the handles are in good condition as well, but I have a different vision for this. So wait till you see what I come up with for this. Do you remember last year during the holidays, I took these jars and I painted them and I decorated them all up for the holidays. I saw these, uh, one was $1.99, the other was $2.99. I couldn't pass them up. They just add so much to my booth. And I think they're amazing, painted up. Uh, so they will definitely be getting upcycled for the holidays. Always looking for little crates. I wasn't too impressed with the design on here, but again, a little paint, a little paper, or some stamps or a transfer can completely transform these. Talking about the holidays, guys, these were $3.99. I ended up paying $2 for them. And I'm like, I am going to sell them as is. I'm not doing anything different, but it got me thinking, what a perfect pattern. And I can make several of these. Would these not be fun in my booth? So that's my plan is to sell them, but make um, some patterns as well. Pretty easy if you look. Connie found this for me. It's like a dough bowl or a dough, dough tray of some sort. Uh, it was $7.99, but I think it's so cool. I could not pass this one up either. I kept saying that I can't pass it up. I just have to get it. And I ended up with a ginormous card full. It was $7.99. I, there's another tag on here, so I don't know where it's from. Uh, but I loved the red uh, color of the glass. It's uh, kind of hard to find pieces like that. So I don't believe it is official. Like I think they sprayed it somehow inside, but I think it's going to add a lot to my booth. This was $3.99 and I thought it would just add a real nice pop of color. It's just a little tiny riser or cake. You can put cake or little hors d'oeuvres on here. I just thought it was super cute and I think somebody else will as well. This is a little shoe and it does say Royal Delft hand painted. It was $1.99. I thought it might fit into one of my displays where I have a bunch of blues and uh, it is super cute, um, very beautifully painted. So just selling as is, and it was only a buck 99. I'm always looking for footstools. This one definitely needs to be recovered. Uh, it was $5.99, super easy to recover items like this. You just unscrew it, pull it off, um, and put on a different piece of fabric. I'm also going to be doing something. Uh, I'm not digging this black and gold coloring on here. Uh, so we're gonna change the entire piece up. Okay, I bought this and I don't know why it caught my eye. It was regular $19.99 and I ended up getting it for $10. The reason I bought it was for these leaves, leaves, 
feathers. <laughs> um, the actual heart comes off and the, um, the actual, uh, I don't know, I don't know if wings, I guess they're wings. They're not feathers, they're wings. Uh, comes off and I just thought it was so neat. So I was thinking even if I can figure out how to chop these apart and do something completely different with them, uh, I just saw this and I don't know. It caught my eye and I thought, you know what? I've wasted $10 on a lot worse. So this is going to be a great challenge for me to see how I can use it in a future upcycle. If you have any ideas or suggestions, you guys let me know. You guys know I'm always looking for a good frame. This is 99 cents. I was from Hobby Lobby for 18, so for 99 cents, good bones. It's got good bones. Um, be thankful. I probably will not use it as is, but for something else completely. Yes. Lastly, I found this and it was a little bit more than what I wanted to spend. It looks like it must have been, I think it was pretty pricey because the sale price on here is 40. I don't have the original tag, so I don't honestly even know what the original price was. I did get it for, um, $14.99 and I think what I'm planning on doing with this, I was thinking about putting it in one of my booths, but my nephew, I really am encouraging him to be a pilot. <laughs> I know he's five, um, but I'm buying him all things like airplanes and things like that. And I think this might be a fun thing for him to hang on his wall. Uh, again, to encourage him to be amazing. Uh, but that's it, you guys. Great time with Connie. We are planning on doing this every single month. So if you guys are new to watching my videos or following me, uh, every month I am meeting up with Connie to uh, pick up papers. So Connie is designing papers for my maker's box and we live so close together, just several hours away, not even. And so we've been meeting in like central locations. She has the papers, we do the exchange, and then we go on a thrifting adventure. Uh, we have actually, we just have been having so much fun. One month we went for breakfast and next month or this last month we went to lunch. Um, so we're just picking different areas and just finding all different fun uh, thrift stores. And I'm just having a ton of fun. Uh, it's just great to hang out with somebody in the creative world uh, and then thrift. And like I said, at Goodwill, we just had a lot of fun brainstorming different ideas for upcoming videos. Um, so that is what uh, we're gonna see on upcoming videos. Uh, when I meet up with her, you guys are gonna see the thrift haul. I'll probably bring you guys along for what I, you know, as I'm picking items and what I all actually saw. Now, Friday's video, I am going to get a thrift to treasure ready for you guys. I know you love them and I love creating them as well. And now I have a lot more stuff to get ready. Um, plus I have a video to put together for my July makers box. Uh, if you want more information on that, it's all in the description below, but we will see you guys Friday and have yourselves a great week. Bye.